Hey everyone, welcome back. It's me, Preeti. Today I'm going to teach you how to find the mid element of a given string. So whatever you can see on the screen is actually your initialization and declaration of a given string. So yeah, so uh, to find the mid element, the output is supposed to be C and D. So why C and D? Because the length of my given string is actually odd. When the length of a given string is odd, you cannot have that particular mid element. So this mid element will be C and D. But if you have an input or the string length, length as even that is if it has a even a length then you can print directly as C right so this difference you will understand once I start coding so just uh, keep watching and observe the output as well when I'm gonna explain two different concepts that is when e length is even and when length is odd right so yeah now I'm done with the initialization and declaration of my string now I'm gonna convert my string to an array by using a character array so char word is equals to a dot to char array when i do this my string is now converted into an array now i'm gonna store the length of my string so int length is equals to word dot length sorry word dot length divided by two yes so now when I do this word dot length divided by 2 when you have a length of 4 and if you divide it by 2 now the output you get is 2 right so 2 index position will be your mid element and mid index value as well so now if length yes modulus 2 is not equal to 0 that if I perform a modulus with my length and uh, if it is not equal to 0 that if I perform a modulus with a number 2 and if it is not equal to 0 then obviously the length is odd length right when the length is odd length I'm gonna print yes uh, that is word yes of length yes minus 1 and word of length yes else I'm gonna directly print the mid element value that is word of length right so save this program and run so you will be getting an output as C because 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So your length is 4 now. When the length is 4 and if it is divided by 2, it is going to directly print 1 mid element. C will be actually your mid element because there is 2 this side and there is 2 elements this side. So C will be obviously your mid element. But imagine when you have a odd length that is let me give you. So when you give you you will take off these two elements at the end and these two elements at the end so c and d should be your two mid elements right so just save this program and run right so c and d c and d are gonna be your two mid elements so this is the main logic you are supposed to understand when your length is even when your length is even it is anyways gonna print only one mid element but what if your length is odd when your length is odd that is if length modulus 2 is not equal to 0 that is if the length is not even at that time you're supposed to print two mid elements that is c and d so that is the reason length minus 1 it triggers to the index uh, a mid index position value minus 1 so it, com it comes back to the previous index position that is C and it prints the mid element as well that is C and D it will print two mid elements so this is the main thing that is how you're supposed to find the mid element when length is even and when length is odd yes I hope you people did understood this as well if you didn't understand please do let me know in the comments so that I can come back in a better approach yes and uh, if you did like this video please do share and subscribe with your friends and tell them how actually easy it is to code right and thank you very much for watching guys thank you so much